were at this point in their in their careers. And which tells you that what we have here is an ordinary garden variety honeymoon. That this isn't... These yeah, let's, are, put, let's put it... We actually... Thank you for anticipating a question mm. I was going to ask you in the next segment, Mara. Let's oh, put sorry. it up. <laughs> we, actually have, we actually have a graphic that shows... No, it's fine. <laughs> you can see here, this is the presidential approval ratings. At this exact point, uh, six-plus weeks in, as you can see, Barack Obama's right there in the middle. And as you point out, Jimmy Carter was considerably more popular. So, so it isn't like there's this huge wave of support for Barack Obama. He's enjoying the typical oh, honeymoon. Hang on, hang on. You know, it's pathetic, this talking about polls. Barack Obama himself compared the stock market to a tracking poll. The White House is obsessed with polls. Juan is obsessed with polls. This reality. Don't, the polls matter not at all right now. You showed earlier the poll of president's approval rating at this time. It has no, car at this time in their terms, it has no correlation with whether they were successful presidents. It has no correlation with whether they were reelected four years later. No. It, 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 None of this has any. That, some went up, some went down. There's and... there's a reality out there in the world and in the economy and in the country. And the idea that, that, that the president and his chief of staff and their defenders are obsessing about polls is really pathetic. But where, should they...